All right, we reach part three now of question seven. We saw that the third term was 25. Let me just write it here. It was 25, the third term of the sequence. Now, what they're saying is given that T N is 145, what is the value of N? All right, so let's look at this. It says Tn equal, and here it says Tn is 145. So I could say 100, 145 is equal to 3 times n squared minus 2. They want what the value of n is. Let me rewrite it and put the equal. Let, let me put the n over the left hand side. I feel a little bit more comfortable with that. So the 3n squared minus 2 on the left is equal to 145 on the right. You could work it out the way it is here with the n on the n part on the right and the 145 on the left. But since I'm going to end up with n equal, I just rewrite it from now to show something mixed up with n equal and then I'll get rid of those some things and you will see n. You have negative 2 and 3 mixed up with the n and the square as well. You want to get rid of all those things and then end up with n equals and see what n is. Now 3n squared minus 2 is equal to 145. The thing is, I need to get rid of the 2, I need to get rid of the 3, I need to get rid of the square. So I have n alone. Let's get rid of the 2 first. What would I do to get rid of 2 here? It would not be to subtract 2 because you end up with negative 4 and you still have a number here. What you would do is say plus 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So you have 3n squared equal. Right? So you will have gotten rid of the 2. But then if you add 2 to the left hand side, to maintain balance, you must also add 2 to the right hand side. So, 145 plus 2 gives you 147. Alright, let me put a line here to separate the working. Now, here, 3n squared is equal to 147. 3n squared is equal to 147. I need to get rid of the n, I mean the, the 3. If I say divide here by 3 and divide here by 3. 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 3, 1. So I have n squared equal. Alright, let's divide this out. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 14. You know that 3, 4 is 12. So it, there are 4 trees in 14. And you have a remainder of 2 left. 2 left over. I'll put the 2 here. 3 into 27. 9. So you have 49. So n squared is 49. Which number do you square to get 49? Another way you could also look at it. Is n squared is 49. You want n equal. How do you get rid of square? To remove square, you square root. So the square root of n squared is equal to the square root of 49. But remember it's a positive and negative. Alright. And so the square root of n squared is n. So you have n equals. What's the square root of 49? 7. I add plus or minus. So I put them here. It's 7. Now you have positive 7 multiply itself to give a 49. Negative 7 also multiplies itself to give a 49. But here, the negative 7 would, would not be useful for the number of terms can be negative. It's one, no term or one term or two terms. This would start at 1. So you have the first, then the second, then the third. You go, go into the negative. So 
it is positive 7 that you will consider here so then n is equal to 7 so the value of n is 7 